So if you show a video to a computer um, and train some big neural net to predict what's going to happen next in the video, if the system is capable of learning this and doing a good job at that prediction, it will probably have understood a lot about the underlying nature of the physical world. Things that, you know, objects move according to uh, particular laws, right? Uh, animate objects can move in things that are more unpredictable, but still, you know, satisfying some constraints. You're not going to have, you know, objects that are not supported fall because of gravity, uh, you know, etc. Right? Um, now, uh, human babies take nine months to learn about gravity. Um, it, it's it's a it's a long process. Um, Young animals, I think, learn this much quicker, but they don't have the same kind of grasp of what gravity really is in the end. Uh, although cats and dogs are really good at this, um, <laughs> uh, obviously. So um, how do we reproduce this kind of uh, training? So if we do the naive thing, which I've been working on for 20 years, uh, uh, you know, doing similar thing as taking a piece of text, uh, but just taking a video and then training a system to predict what happens next in the video, it doesn't really work. So if you're training to produce the next frame, um, it doesn't learn anything useful because it's too easy. Okay. If you're training to predict longer term, it really cannot predict what's gonna what's gonna happen in the video because there's a lot of plausible things that might happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the case of text, that's a very simple problem because you only have a finite number of words in the dictionary. And so you can never predict exactly what word follows a sequence, but you can predict a probability distribution of all words in the dictionary, um, and that's good enough. Uh, you can represent uncertainty in the prediction. You can't do this with video. We do not know how to represent appropriate probability distribution over the set of all images or video frames or video segment. It's actually a mathematically intractable problem. So it's not just a question of like we don't have big enough computers. It's just like intrinsically intractable. So the until you know maybe five six years ago, I I didn't have any solution to this. I don't think anybody had any solution to this. And um, one solution that we came up with is a kind of architecture that changes the the the, the way we would do this. Instead of predicting everything that happens in the video, um, we basically train a system to run a representation of the video, and we make the prediction in that representation space. And that representation eliminates a lot of details in the video that are just not predictable or, or you know, impossible to, uh, to figure out. Uh, that kind of architecture is called a JEPA, Joint Embedding Predictive Architecture. Mm -hmm. what, what's, what may be surprising about this is that it's, it's not generative. <laughs> so everybody is talking about generative AI. My hunch is that the next generation AI system will be based on non-generative non models, essentially.